Let's take a moment to determine the maximum area for a four-sided rectangular enclosure. In this case, we're given 100 meters of rope to work with. If we give our enclosure a very short width, we will get a very narrow area. For example, if we use a width of 5 meters, we'll also need to use another 5 meters on the opposite side to take care of that width. That leaves us with 90 meters of rope to work with from the 100. Dividing that amongst the two lengths and we end up with 45 meter lengths. So we have a 5 by 45 enclosure. And since our area formula for a rectangle is length times width, we'll multiply our length of 45 meters times our width of 5 meters for an area of 225 meters squared. Looking at the relationship between the width and the area, we have a width of 5 meters here, yielding an area of 225 meters squared. Exploring this further, we can increase our width to 15 meters, for example, which will require us to use an additional 15 meters for the second width, leaving us with 70 meters of rope to work with for our length. Since we have two lengths, we'll divide that 70 meters by two, and we'll end up with 35 meters for both of our lengths. Calculating the area of this rectangle will have us multiply the length of 35 meters by the width of 15 meters, yielding a total area of 525 meters squared. Again, taking a look at the relationship between the width and the area, and we have a width of 15 meters, and our area will increase to 525 meters squared. Investigating further, we could increase our width to 25 meters, for example, which would yield a square. We would have two widths of 25 and two lengths of 25 to use the entire 100 meters of rope. Calculating the area of this special rectangle, or square, we would multiply the length of 25 meters by the width of 25 meters for a total area of 625 meters squared. Going back to our relationship between width and area, we can see that when the width is 25 meters, our area has increased again to 625 meters squared. Continuing our exploration, we're going to increase the width to 35 meters, which will leave us with 15 meters for our lengths. And when we look at our table, we'll notice that when the width was 15 meters, the length was 35 meters. Now our width is 35 meters, and our length is 15 meters. So essentially, we're going to get that same area of 525 meters squared. Again, if we look at the width of 45 meters, for example, that's going to leave us with only a length of 5 meters, giving us, again, an area that we've already seen before at 225 meters squared. And essentially all we're doing here is taking the rectangle um, from being narrow horizontally to a really narrow and vertical rectangle. So in conclusion, when we look at our relationship between width and area, we can see that maximizing a four-sided rectangular enclosure will involve the use of a square. In this case, a 25 meter by 25 meter square. So in general, a square will always maximize the area of a four-sided rectangular enclosure.